Hey, so today I'm going to show you a pretty useful way to wash your clothes when you travel. Obviously, this is good for camping or an emergency situation, but you might find it really handy for just traveling in hotels when you have to obviously do laundry, but you don't want to use the hotel, whatever the reason. You don't want to have your laundry farmed out and risk losing it, risk damaging it. Just wash your own clothes in your hotel room and dry it. Now, one tip for travel clothes is the more the synthetic quick dry antibacterial garments, the better. These ones, like this shirt, dries super fast. Just hang dry it. It resists mildew, resists odors, and you don't obviously have to dry it in a tumble dry machine. But for the standard clothes, here's what I recommend. So it doesn't have to be this bag, but this is one that I use. It's called the Scrubba, and it's basically like a um, dry bag for rafting. And I'm sure that would work fine too. It's like a drafting a rafting dry bag. Uh, what you do is you put your clothes in and then you fill the water to the line on the bag. I went a little bit above and you'll see I have my dirty clothes in here. I put in hot water and then you can just use you know whatever um, soaps you have. The body soap in the hotel would work. Shampoo would work. Uh, if you bring some of those Tide Pods with you in your suitcase that would be better. And this is really good, especially if you have like cycling clothes or things that get um, pretty stinky. And you know, the thing about the tech fibers is sometimes they can absorb the sweat, the stink a bit. Um, so this kit wash is something that I use. Again, just a recommendation. It'll work fine without it. But you put one capsule of the kit wash in. And then you close it like this. So it has you know the instructions on here. And just fold it over and then fold it over a few more times. And that will help to prevent the water from leaking out. That's how a dry bag works. It's not gonna now this one isn't totally watertight, but you can see it does a it does a good job of containing the water and liquid. And next, so you can see the instructions here. Fill the water, roll it deflate it, and then rub it, then rinse it and dry it. All right, so what we're gonna do, all right, so you can see here, I'm gonna deflate it. And now, let us know we're getting tight. You know, it's gonna drain some of that water out. So I'll put a towel down on the carpet or do this outside. Then tighten that valve back up and put it here. And again, that's why it's important to roll the top of it over so it doesn't leak out everywhere. And then we're just gonna rub to get some you know, suds going. So you see the window in here. And this is two days worth of bike clothing plus some, you know, basic running gear, undergarments like shorts, socks. Uh, use warm water, works obviously better. And you just, you know, rub it, get it agitated, simulate a washing machine. So we did leak some of the water out, so there, there will be some water on the table. So I'm just going to, you know, put in a towel down if you have one. All right, so that's that's done. You might want to leave it, you know, for 30 minutes or whatever. Don't, you don't have to. Um, and then the next step, step five, would be to rinse it. So go back in the bathroom, rinse out all the soap. You know, do so. Basically, simulate the cycles of a washing machine. So we've just agitated it. Now we're going to do the rinse cycle. So we, you know, rinse out the water, replenish. The water once with you know clean water from the sink, rinse that out, and then hang dry it. So for the hang dry, and then you can do this on the balcony, or if you're embarrassed by that or not allowed to, just do this on the shower um, curtain holder. And this is by Night Eyes. This is a garment holder, and it comes with a bunch of these Night Eyes clips. So you can just attach your garments one at a time and let them drip dry. 
Uh, this works extremely well, especially outside. If you can you know, tie two chairs, you know, if you have two heavy chairs and you put this on the backs of each, just let it drip dry outside. Uh, if you have a sunny day, warm day, it'll be done in about four hours. It'll be dry, it's just like a drying rack. But it also works fine inside. Um, and then if you have shirts, if you get them you know, partially dry, then you can iron them, finish them that way, and that really does a good job of getting, obviously, the wrinkles out, but it finishes the drying process really quickly, especially if it's a steam iron. So these are the tools that I would recommend for washing your clothes when you travel. Extreme hotel survival. But get used to this now because when you do go camping, this could come in handy. And obviously in the unlikely event, there is a grid down scenario. You can't use your washing machine, but you still obviously have to have clean clothes. It would be nice to have this equipment already at the ready and know what it takes to use it because you're not going to be able to find YouTube videos if the power and or internet is down. Okay. All right. So this is how you would set it up in your shower. I have the lights off in here because the van, the fan goes on with the lights. It's super loud. So I found that hanging the heavier items on the ends keeps the line from just sagging down the middle. So I'll put the cycling bibs and the jerseys on the side. You could do that with jackets, you know, heavy shirts. And then if you don't have, you know, a hook or a you know, loop or anything, then just double up the socks, double up the shirt, whatever, and hang it that way. So you can see that it's just gonna drip down. I have the shower liner inside the tub, so the water will go down into the bathtub, not on the floor. And at the top, I just, these are built in, these ties. These are also made by Night Eyes. And you just wrap it around, you know, like a octopus tentacles around the bar on both sides. And that holds it in place. So it's a great system. This should be done. I would leave the fan on to remove some of the humidity in the shower. And this should be done in a few hours.